Uh, hey, Kyle. Um, just the, the the day after for you, it's uh, you came in this year and just talked about the importance of getting off to a good start. And, you know, you, you get a goal, the team's winning. Can you kind of maybe compare just the different mindset you have now compared to how you were feeling last year when it was a struggle for you? Um, yeah, definitely a different mindset. Um, just, um, I mean, first of all, it was... It was really nice to get a, a full, normal summer of training in with Chad here. Um, he was a huge help and put on a lot of muscle and, and weight and uh, explosiveness and um, things that kind of the year and a half prior were really difficult to do with kind of the COVID schedule and training and, and whatnot. So, I mean, right off the bat, I think that gave me a lot of confidence and physical uh, ability that I didn't have before um, and energy and explosiveness and all that. So I think that was a big help uh, coming in and gave me a bunch of confidence. And then, um, yeah, just through camp, kind of, you know, just trying to contribute, trying to, to have energy every game, every shift, um, and just bring something to the table to help, you know. Um, and, I mean, it felt good to, to help in the shootout at the beginning of the year and um, to chip in on the second power play unit whenever we get a chance. And, um, and yeah, just to score last night, you know. I mean, it, uh, it's something that's not going to happen all the time, but just creating momentum and, and trying to, to create energy for our group on that line with, with Shorzy and, um, yeah, just getting pucks in, trying to get after it and, and create ozone time to, to turn momentum in our favor. It's a long season, and, you know, you're going to have games like in Vancouver where maybe it was your best offensive game. You guys didn't give up anything. And then two nights later, you give up a little bit more, but you get the win both times and win by three. As a veteran player, can you talk about how, there, you know, there's ebbs and flows in a season, and some night maybe you don't have your best night, but you find ways to win. And how, how crucial is that to becoming a good team? Like, do you have to have that in your arsenal? Yeah, you do. It's, I mean, 82 games is such a long season that – you have to find ways to win games when you don't have your legs and when you're not feeling great. And, um, and I mean, it's going to go the other way too, where you, you lose some games where you feel like you should have won. Um, I thought we played really well against Philly um, and it didn't go our way, but um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you got to find ways to win. And, and that also kind of helps bring the group together because you, you know, you lean on each other and, and find ways uh, to pull it out. Hey, Kyle. I was hoping you could describe the sequence in the third period leading to your goal. It was 17 seconds apart, Miko stopping Jordan on the breakaway, and then you scoring. Could you give us your view of everything that happened? Uh, it was, I mean, it was a great save by Meeks. He, uh, yeah, it was a really big save, and I was back checking. I was thinking, oh, man, this, is, uh, this could be a tough night if... You know, it's uh, the third goal I'm on for already, but uh, it, um, no, it was, it was a really big save. Came out, uh, Shorzy had a really nice block, and uh, we kind of went the other way, and um, I didn't want to dump it in at first. I wanted to try and make a play, but they kind of had, had a guy or two coming over towards me, so I just thought I'd get it deep and let Benny get on it on the far side. And Benny made a really nice play to kind of go hard and, and kind of be a decoy to, to take the strong side D-man out of the play and let Shorzy pick it up. And at first I was going to go behind the net because I thought Shorzy was going to rim it behind the net back to me. And I saw him hold on to it, so I figured I'd try back post. Um, I mean, he made a beautiful pass right on my tape flat, and I just tapped it in. So you scored and Kyler scored. He obviously maybe has been feeling it, the zero in the goal column because he does play with Leon and Nugent Hopkins most of the time. I don't know if, if this happens for you. You can tell us, take us behind the scenes. You know, do you say anything to Yamo or just keep your head up? Or is there, are those conversations happen player to player? Yeah, I mean, everybody just kind of, everybody says something to, to a guy like that. You know, it, it'll come, just keep working, keep getting the opportunities. And, and it does. I mean, you get enough opportunities, they're going to go in. And, and usually they come in in bunches after you go dry for a while. So... I mean, it was a really nice pass by Dry, but a, a really nice finish by him, and I'm sure there's lots more coming. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Uh, this is, I've never done this before, 
It's a trivia question. Uh, because a buddy texted it to me last night after you scored. There's no prize if you win and no embarrassment if you don't know. The 0607 Burnaby Express. Yeah. Two players on that team have wound up playing for the Edmonton Oilers. One of them is you. Can you name the other one? Uh, Brad Hunt. Okay, that was an easy one. <laughs> Who's the third guy that played in the NHL from that team? Uh, Weircock? Weirkosh? Yeah. What do you remember about Brad as a junior? Oh, he's the nicest person in the world. <laughs> he's, he's just a very kind person, really nice guy, and very skilled uh, defenseman. Very offensively talented and um, has done a, a great job uh, finding his way uh, to, s to stay in this league. Hi, over here. Yep. Uh, when, you, when you're on a team that has, you know, a top six like Edmonton does and, and, and that logs as many minutes as they do, do you find that, like, in, in your situation that you have to, sh your line has to show something well early to sort of get in that rotation where he can roll them? And does that help or is that added pressure that you don't really need? Yeah, no, we definitely do. You know, it's, um, like you said, I mean, we have the two of the best players in the world and on two different lines and, and they're going to play a lot. And, I mean, the way I look at it, any, any opportunity um, our line gets is we have to have energy. We have to, we have to be jumping on pucks. We have to compete. We have to be solid defensively. And, and I mean, uh, it'd be nice for us to, to be able to get into the zone and, and hem them down there on our shifts because, I mean, if we do that, it, it uh, can kind of, we can change in the offensive zone, get one of those top two lines out, and um, that way we're kind of making an impact as well and, and keeping ourselves in the game to, to help out. Does the overall flow of the team, like everything seems to be going well right now, kind of bring everybody along, like they say, the, uh, the high tide lifts all boats kind of a situation? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it's a long year, 82 games, like I said earlier. It's a long, long season, and we're eight games in now. And um, Yeah, it's just it's something that you realize you're off to a good start, but at the same time, it can change real quick, and, and uh, we just want to stay steady. We want to continue to improve, and there's going to be games where you like I said, you don't have your legs and you're not playing your greatest, but um, you have to be able to rebound and just continue to play the same way and, and continue to improve. Yep. Hello, hello. Sorry. 35 years in TV, it took me that long to figure out the mic. Sorry about that. Um, a little bit about Miko. Uh, he discussed last year being a, a, a difficult year. Everyone sort of dealt with, especially the fact he didn't have his, his family with him. Uh, can you just discuss the, sort of the mental strength, especially for a goalie, uh, because you can be the fan favorite and you can go, you know, go back and forth so quickly and yeah. what he's kind of shown you in that regard? Yeah, no, he's... Uh, he's yeah, he's, he's played very well for us this year and when we needed him to. Like, he's made some massive saves, uh, keep us in games, win us games. And, um, yeah, like you said, the mental strength to bounce back after a more difficult year last year and, and to come in and, and just, you know, play as well as he has this year, it, it says a lot about him. And, he, I mean, he's such a nice, uh, soft-spoken guy that it... Uh, I'm, I'm really happy for him. It's, it's really good to see.